Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we take a close-up look at a Museum of the Rockies artifact in five minutes or less. So these days, we're all hearing a lot about personal protective equipment, or PPE. And while we're mostly hearing about medical protective equipment, there are many different professions that use personal protective gear, including firefighting. So let's take a quick look at one of the many PPE artifacts in the Museum of the Rockies permanent collection a Bozeman firefighter's uniform from 1890. It's a red wool uniform consisting of a tunic and pants, and I think it looks pretty darn good for being over 100 years old. Wool was actually a very common material for firefighting protective gear at the time. It was easily available, fire resistant, and able to shield firefighters from both cold and heat. If available, some common additions at the time may have been a helmet, rubber boots that extended up to the mid-thigh, and a thick rubber, canvas, or leather trench coat. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who would run into a burning building wearing nothing but a wool suit? And the answer is, not these firefighters. They were brave, not invincible. This type of gear was really only useful for fighting fires from the outside of buildings, as it was certainly not protective enough for firefighters to enter a burning building. On the chest, the uniform says BHL1, which stands for Bozeman Hook and Ladder Company No. 1. This was the first fire company in Bozeman, and it was founded in 1884, 20 years after the town itself was founded. The fire company primarily consisted of volunteers, including the man who owned this particular uniform, Emil Ketterer. The picture on the left was taken in 1890, and the picture on the right around 1900. When the company was founded, its first request to the city council was for red shirts with black trimmings with hook and ladder shield across the breast and belts and caps. You see that request was granted, although it looks like they swapped the black for blue. And according to fire department records, the Bozeman Hook and Ladder Company then began with 24 men, a hook and ladder truck, 100 leather buckets, $375 worth of fire extinguishers, and 25 uniforms. At that point, the fire company didn't even have a fire engine, instead relying on hand-operated water pumps and leather buckets for fire suppression. It took until 1889 for the city to acquire the horse-drawn Silsby steam-powered water pump you see in the picture here, in which the newspaper at the time described as pretty as a little red wagon and spouts water like an elephant. It wasn't until after World War II that standards were developed for firefighter personal protective equipment, and the current technology for personal protective gear and equipment has, very thankfully for the firefighters, substantially evolved from the wool tunic of 1890. This allows firefighters to more effectively and safely do their jobs, which is something we can all be grateful for.